Is there an easier way to solve this limit? So here we have the limit as x approaching infinity of x plus 1 over x plus 2, whole thing raised to the x power. And what you did was, the main thing is Laputal's rule. So how can we make this easier? And the answer to that is to use your note that you have on your paper. So let's see. Here's the deal. Notice that when we have this limit, if you put infinity to all the x's, the inside here will give you 1, and the power is infinity. 1 to the infinity, when we're dealing with limit, is an indeterminate form, meaning that we don't know what the answer is yet. So we are going to use the node that you provide, which is the limit. And right here, let me use another variable, because later on, we will be doing a substitution. So let me use t, approaching infinity. And if the expression is 1 plus some number a, a can be any real number, and then over t raised to the t's power like this, we will end up with e to the a's power. And the e is the special number e, which is approximately 2.718. Let you see that a lot in calculus. First question, how do we know that this could help? The answer for that is, if you put infinity into t's right here, you get a finite number over infinity, which is approaching 0. So the inside is going to give you 1. And then the power is infinity. Whenever you are dealing with a limit that you get 1 to the infinity's power, keep this fact in mind, because it might be really, really useful. So now, how are we going to utilize this though? It's not so bad because the inside here is just a polynomial over polynomial, so we can do a quick division. And that's how it works right here. The limit as x approaching infinity. So if you just add 1 and subtract 1, you end up with 1 minus 1 over x plus 2 like this, and then raise to the x power like that. So if you can just say go from here to here, then that's perfect. Uh, if not, let me just make it more clear like this. Just add 1 and then subtract 1. And the reason for that is because this right here will give you x plus 2. So we get x plus 2 over this x plus 2. And then still have the minus. And then 1 over x plus 2 like that. And that will give you the 1 and then minus 1 over x plus 2. That's one way to do it. But sometimes if it's not so convenient for us to do this, then you may just have to do polynomial long division. The top is x plus 1, and then put the button on the outside. And then you ask yourself, we have x here already, times what will give you x? The answer for that is 1. 1 times x is x, 1 times 2 is 2. And you subtract, well, x minus x is 0, 1 minus 2 we get negative 1. This right here tells you we have 1 minus 1 over the original denominator. So whichever way that you find more convenient. Now, we see that we have one right here which matches with this already. And notice that even though this is a minus, but don't worry, because a could be negative. Right now, a looks like we have negative 1. All right, so far so good. But the thing is that we have t, and this is x plus 2. Don't worry, it's just a small fixed. Here we can do a substitution. Let this thing, which is x plus 2, we are going to say that's equal to t. And notice, when x is approaching infinity, infinity plus 2, that will also give you infinity for t. So the next line is the limit as t going to infinity as well. And then we have 1 minus 1 over, here is the t. And the x is what? Just subtract 2 to both sides, x is t minus 2. Quite nice, huh? So that's what we have. What more can we do though? I kind of just want to have this part by itself, so we can use this fact here, right? And then this power, well, don't worry, we can just use the rule of exponent to break it down. Check this out. I'm going to write this down first. 1 minus 1 over t raised to the t's power, and then I'm going to multiply that by the same base, but raise that to the negative 2. So this thing is the same as this times that because we can just combine the exponent. 
right? T plus negative two, we get that. So good. Now another thing I'm going to do is, when we have a limit of a product, right? Because this this times that's equal to this, that's the same as the product of the limits under the assumption that both limits exist. They do exist, so we can continue. I'm just going to be looking at the limit as t approaching infinity for this part first, times the limit as t approaching infinity for this part, and then multiply the results. Now, for this right here, notice what we said earlier, 1 minus 1 over t, 1 plus a over t, so here a is equal to negative 1. So this limit gives you e to the negative first power. Okay, now as of the second limit, if you put infinity into here, you get 1 minus 1 over infinity and then raised to the negative 2 power. That approaches 0. And then that's just 1 raised to the negative 2 power. Now, if this is not infinity, you have absolutely no worry. That will just give you 1. So this limit is just 1. Finally, this times that, of course, the answer is just e to the negative 1. And then we are done. Hopefully this right here helps. For more examples just like this, you can check out other videos. That's it.